Alright, in this video I want to do an example of multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Um, so initially here we've got a little bit of division of two fractions containing some binomial expressions. And the basic idea in this case is to factor and cancel is really all it comes down to. So uh, the first thing we'll have to do here is remember if you have a fraction divided by a fraction, we leave the first one alone. And remember, we turn our division into multiplication, and then we have to flip the other fraction. So division turns into multiplication, and the one on the right side flip-flops. And at this point, again, it's just trying to factor things out. So I'm going to make a couple little observations here. Notice there's an 8 minus k on top and there's a k minus 8 on the bottom. We can't, uh, we can't cancel those out immediately. I like to stick things in parentheses as well, um, just as, uh, as a personal habit. Um, doesn't change its value again because you can imagine there's a 1 out here. Notice the signs here are opposite of what they are down here. So whenever I recognize that, the idea is you can basically just factor a negative out of one of them. So notice if I pull the negative out, I have to change the signs to make it equivalent. I can make it negative 8 plus k, because when I distribute the negative sign, the negative and the negative will make positive 8, and the negative times the positive k will give me negative k. So this is kind of a useful trick, factoring out a negative. Okay, then we have k squared minus 64. I recognize that as being a difference of perfect squares. So that factors as k minus 8, k plus 8. Okay, there's really nothing to do with the other side, k plus 8, k minus 8. But now, since we have all multiplication in the numerator, all multiplication in the denominator, we can cancel away. So again, notice in this first set of parentheses, we could really rewrite that as k positive k minus 8. And we have a positive k minus 8 down here. So in this case, we can cancel those out. So that cancels with that. And then we have a k plus 8 in the numerator. We have a k plus 8 in the denominator. So we can cancel those out as well. And I think we have now simplified down our original um, the, our original problem here. So in the numerator we have a negative, you can think about that as just being negative 1 and then divided by k minus 8. Again you can put this in parentheses or not um, you know algebraically it's not going to change its value. Typically though I would certainly just write it like this.